Good morning, church. What can we say to these things? If God be for you, who? Who? Who can be against you? No one, says Ron, be that one. I stand here before you this morning to give this address to tell you about the projects and accomplishments that we had over the year, five years for the review and supplementing the middle of the church of the Gambia. But without God, we can do nothing. And with He by our side, we can do all things. That's why I love Romans 8 that want so much. Because no matter how much opposition you have, no matter how much people go against you, they can never succeed. He said, God will see you through. Because with God, we can do all things. It was over 29 years ago that the Gambia Middle Indian Association was inaugurated by great and distinguished Middle men of the Gambia. We are indeed extremely grateful to Almighty God for spreading our lives and for allowing us to meet together today to celebrate three decades, almost three decades, of the association existence. By the grace and blessings of Almighty God, we are able to be present in this church this morning. Thus, let us first of all thank Almighty God for good health, long life, and prosperity. Because if you can notice the 28th anniversary, we get a few brothers with us, but they're no longer with us today. And there are some people in the congregation last year at the cathedral that were with us that are not here today. So we gotta give God the thanks to praise and glory for good health. And sometimes you say and think that you don't thank God enough just for getting waking us up in the morning. Because since you were a little baby, thank you, Holy Spirit, since you were a little baby, that heart that you have is still with you. Can you imagine if now you have attached a meter to that heart, how much you pay? And it's for free from Almighty God. Since so many 30 years, you stay part. 40 years, 50, 60, can you imagine? Even now we meet up, we destroy by now. And now we will destroy 20 years to finish. But that heart is with you. It's with you up today. And it's beating every second. It's beating. It's beating. I just say this to illustrate how long time we really need to go by God for good health and for being allowed to be here this morning. There are some brothers and sisters like I don't mention that were with us, that are no with us. We equally pray to, for God to grant our deceased brothers and church members a place in this heavenly kingdom. I will get to that at the end when we remember uh, brothers that God I have us. A day like today reminds us also of the association members who have been called to higher service especially 1985 founding members, particularly Justice Samuel John Foster, whose foresight and instrumentality brought about the existence of the association. They have all gone, but we never forgot them. The association is an association of few good, intelligent, handsome, distinguished, kind-hearted, and God-fearing Middle men. The association has been and still going through revival and transformation process. It is all important that all members of the association become very, very proactive and play their individual part or role that they have been in the process by completing their talents, their time, financial resources, towards the goals and objectives of the association. During the inaugural ceremony, and by the way, it was on 14 February 1985, and that's Valentine's Day. And our association was founded on Valentine's Day. That's 
why in 2009, when we noticed that, we started giving Moses to the ladies. Can you mind that? All the time they have to be fun, and that's law. So it's very important that we adopt that. So again, the association of this constitution also was, was adopted during that time, and to promote the spiritual, financial, and social life of the Middle East Church of Uganda. The motto, as most of you are aware, of the association is derived from the acronym CARE, C-A-R-E. C for communion, A for action, R for responsibility, E for knowledge. All the other activities and programs are always implemented bearing these three attributes in mind. We have assembled here today in very light number to celebrate 29 years of numberless achievements. However, I would like to remind members of the association that it's time to take stock and inventory. A time for reflection, a time for renewal of our commitment to the association, we saw the other law. In reviewing our members' participation in the past activities and programs, or in the year on the review, I discovered that over the years it has always been the dedicated and committed few that does all the work. Approximately 25% are very fully committed and proactive, 50% are secondary participants, if you know what I mean, and 25% totally inactive. Dear my brothers, 2014 to be a year of commitment and action, and a year for all hands on deck, if you know what I mean, in order to achieve and accomplish some of the challenges and projects that lie ahead of us in 2014. Secondary and inactive attitudes will definitely have to change. To this end, two main fundraising activities are organized, namely the Christmas Carol Singing and the Association Major Fundraising Activity of the Year, which is this annual Thanksgiving service today. I will also take this opportunity to remind all